I'm making potatoes. The rose, this is rosemary with um, garlic. So mince in the, making it into like a paste. And then I'm gonna cook this. And then you're gonna wanna fry that. So I'm gonna go fry it right now. We're done. This is like a potato, like an oven potato. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fry it. Oh! This is the best way to make potatoes, the oven potatoes in my opinion. It's, it's really crispy. Um, you get a lot of flavor. It's, um, you wanna cut the potatoes first. I'm gonna go get the potatoes. There you go, here are the potatoes um, in this triangular shape. This is a great, this is a good shape because this thinner part gets really crispy. So, a lot of potatoes here. I'm gonna go get the frying pan. All right, so we can turn that on. Let me move the, over here so you can kind of see it. Right there. Okay, get the fire on. Let me turn on this light. Olive oil. It's a lot of potatoes, so I'm doing a lot of olive oil. Um, and also butter is just great as well. So you wanna throw some of that in there. Gives it a lot of flavor. Right there, put that in. And what I do is I cook the ro the minced rosemary and um, minced rosemary and garlic. I kind of cook that first so the flavor is infused in the oil. And butter is great for that because when you have the oil, once this flavor is infused in the oil, um, the flavor is then in the oil. So then when you're making the potatoes. Um, the flavor can really get into the potatoes and that's, you know, that's what you want. So, turn it down a little bit, medium heat, you just want to stir it, make sure it doesn't burn, but really get that flavor. You really want the rosemary and garlic flavor in infusing with the oil. So you get this rich, really flavorful. <laughs> <laughs> right, sounds so funny, but yeah, you get this rich, flavorful <laughs> um, oil. So keep that moving. I'm gonna add a little more butter because this butter gives it that rich, milky flavor. That's just, it's a great flavor. So I'm gonna add some more in there. Get that flavor in there. It, you guys can't smell it, but sure does it smell good. <laughs> So I'm gonna turn the heat a little bit lower and um, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here so that, just a little bit. I'm gonna season the potatoes more later, but just to get it in here. Okay, we're kind of getting, kinda, we're pretty much getting there. So now I'm gonna put the potatoes in, which it's a, it's a lot of potatoes. Whoa, that's a lot of potatoes. Whoa, and then uh, now what you want to do is you just want to coat the potatoes with the oil. You want to coat the potatoes with the oil and the flavor. Because um, after we cook the rosemary and garlic, that flavor is infused in the oil. And this is perfect because now the oil, then you coat the potatoes with the rich, flavorful, infused oil. And that coating of oil is gonna make it really crispy when you put it in the oven. And that's the secret to doing crispy potatoes. The other secret is microwave the potatoes before you make them. Um, I would microwave them for about five minutes after you cut them, um, just so it kind of cooks it a little bit so you you know, the oven has to do less work. And 
Also, it just kind of makes it extra um, crispy. So, I mean, you can already see I'm just tossing it and look at that. That looks great. Um, so, keep that going. Just want to make an even coating. So, you know, it looked, maybe it looked like a lot of oil at the beginning, but you, there's a lot of potatoes and you want to make sure you really coat all of them. So, um, you know, this, I'm, I'm making enough for leftovers. Um, I'm making this for dinner with steak, um, which is a great combo. But what's great about these potatoes is if you have leftovers, you can heat them up and they're like home fries for breakfast. So, um, that's what's great about this. All right, so I think I've gotten it a good amount. Now I'm gonna go put it in a, on a tray. So let me go get my, let me go get a tray here. Um, this looks good. I think this is, um, I think that's good. Get some tin foil. Tin foil is great because it's just fast cleanup. And nobody likes cleaning up. So get the tin foil. Put that on the tray. I probably should have put more tin foil, but you know, it's whatever. And then remove this so you can see what I'm kind of doing here. And then just put this. Oh my God. That, that smells delicious, first of all. Um, wow, that, that smells really good. So I'm gonna bring the camera over so you guys can really get a sense of what this looks like. Hold on. Oh, right there on the tray. So even it out, you want it to be flat. You don't want the potatoes to be on top of each other. Maximize the surface area that the potato is in contact with the bottom tin foil. That's what's gonna make it real crispy. I know. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> Garlic potato? Yeah. You already know. That's my grandmother. That's my grandmother. I'm live right now. Okay. Now, I don't know why I'm whispering. Now. Oh, season, season it. I almost forgot. Quickly season salt. Get some salt. Um, pepper. Oh shit. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You know, I might do a little more oil. Just a tad. It's probably like, that was probably unnecessary, but. You know, I forgot to preheat the oven. So that's, that was, some, that was something stupid. So yeah, you wanna start your oven, I think bake time. There you go, bake temp. And I, I would say three, 375 is a good amount, but I'm gonna put it at 400. Um, and I'm gonna let that heat up. And once, essentially once that's done, you put these flavorful, beautiful potatoes in the oven. And you know, you just wanna cook them for, I would say 40 minutes. Um, depending on the thickness of your potato, it might take longer, it may take shorter, depending on the temperature you have it at. Um, 
I would recommend 375 to 400 and 440 minutes. Also depends on how much you microwave it for. I microwave it for five minutes. So the potatoes are slightly cooked. And um, I like that technique because it gives the potato this extra crisp, extra like crispiness later on. Anyway, so um, the potatoes, so that's gonna load. And then there's the steak. Um, so I'm gonna do that next. Um, but the steak is requires a lot of moving around. I don't know if I can do this one on live. Um, so I think I'm gonna end the live there. But that's how you make Sebi's famous potatoes. <laughs> they're not they're not famous yet, but it's up to you guys. I need you guys to save this recipe and try it out and let me know what you think. Try it out. Tell your friends. Hey, Sebi, I know this great music artist. Hell, I know this great cook, Sebi. He does the best potatoes. Let them know the recipe and share it around. Sebi, potatoes, they're good. All right, signing off. See you guys later. Oh, yeah, and I think I'm going to drop the song like tomorrow, the snippet one. Anyways, who cares about the song, huh? We're all just trying to cook here. <laughs>